Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I got another devotional for you today. This devotional is entitled, When the Odds Are Against You. And I'll be reading from my Bible, Judges 7, 1-7. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take off my glasses. <clears throat> then Jeroboam, that is Gideon, and all the people who were with him rose early and camped beside the wall of Herod, well Herod, so that the camp of the Midianites was on the north side of them by the hill of Morah in the valley. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. These Israel claim big glory for itself against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore proclaim in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead, and 22,000 of the people returned, and 10,000 remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whom ever I say to you, This one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue, as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink, and the number of those who lapped pudding their hand to their mouth was three hundred men, while all the rest of the people got down on their knees and to drink water. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's the Bible reading. Now the devotional. <clears throat> Have you ever felt backed up against a wall with no way out? Although a situation like that is truly beyond what you can manage, it is not too big for God. In fact, if you could completely handle every difficulty that arose, then the credit would go to you and not to the Lord. Impossible circumstances teach us an important lesson to depend on Him and not on ourselves. Gideon was a reluctant warrior 
who felt inadequate for the task God called him to do, to deliver Israel from mid midnight oppression. But in obedience, he had rallied 32,000 men to fight against the enemy. However, the Lord then whittled the army down to just 300 men. Humanly speaking, it would be impossible to, to defeat the enemy forces with so few. But that was precisely God's point. He alone would achieve the victory and receive the glory. When the odds are not in your favor, that doesn't mean God has abandoned you. Stand your ground and keep your eye on Him. Trust your Heavenly Father and you'll be amazed at what He will achieve. Then glorify Him, giving thanks for His faithfulness. Amen. All right, that's it for the win. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it meant something to you. And until I meet you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.